6.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay on August 25th at about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. This is Luke Thomas, home of the Earthquake Forecast Center, giving you an update on August 23rd, 9.04 in the evening. 9.04 p.m., August 23rd, Monday. Let's take a look at that warning. 6.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay on August 25th, 4 p.m. Here's the spike in risk here. You notice back here, we had a risk, a very strong risk for a 5.7. This spike in risk produced a 3.3 earthquake. And we had mentioned that between San Francisco and Coalinga. And if we look here, we see there was a quake here, 3.3 earthquake hit right there between uh, San Francisco and Coalinga. So, but we're waiting on the, uh, the spike in risk on the 22nd did not release the energy uh, of that earthquake that we were waiting on. We were thought it would be about a 5.7. This risk level is much higher now for the 25th at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, uh, which is Wednesday. Today is the 20th, uh, Monday, Tuesday, of Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. So those who live in the San Francisco Bay, uh, be prepared for a strong earthquake about 4 p.m. in the afternoon on August 25th. Let's take a look around the, uh, the world at our forecast. We'll start with uh, Anchorage. And we're looking at a uh, 5.8 earthquake up in the uh, Alaska area, 5.8 on August 25th at about four o'clock in the morning. We have a strong spike in risk in Anchorage. So a 5.8 earthquake is possible on August 25th at about four o'clock in the morning. All right, in Bakersfield, we have that spike in risk on the 25th as well. And this is uh, corresponding to that earthquake likely in the San Francisco Bay on August 25th. And uh, something is also possible in uh, Bakersfield as well in the spike in risk on the 25th. Koalinga, we have a risk uh, at two o'clock in the morning on August 26th, when a 3.9 to 4.0 is possible there. Again, the risk is uh, very high in the San Francisco Bay. And here's a map here. It's kind of centered right around the San Francisco downtown area, right there, San Francisco, Oakland. And uh, we'll see exactly where it's gonna hit, but it's San Francisco Bay on August 25th. El Centro, we have a spike in risk in the morning of the 26th at about four in the morning reaches a peak there at four in the morning on August 26th. So a 4.0 to 4.5 is possible at that time. You can check out these forecasts over at uh, quakeprediction.com. For more details, here's a Eureka forecast. 4.0 earthquake is likely on August 26th at about two o'clock in the morning. And uh, this is kind of corresponding with that earthquake that's likely in the San Francisco Bay in the afternoon of the 25th. Reno, Nevada, if a spike in risk uh, in the afternoon of the 25th, which corresponds to the warning for San Francisco Bay. Ridgecrest, a uh, 3.4 earthquake is possible late on August 25th into the 26th on this spike in risk there. Salt Lake City, it's pretty quiet right now in Salt Lake City, Utah, San Diego. Uh, risk is pretty quiet for the next few days. And San Francisco again, here's the warning. 6.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay on August 25th, about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It could hit a little earlier than that or a little later, but most likely at about four o'clock. Between 2, 2 p.m. and 4 p.m is the most likely time for that earthquake in San Francisco Bay on August 25th. Santa Maria, pretty quiet the next few days. And uh, Seattle, Washington, we have a spike in risk on the morning of the 26th. Athens, Greece. Um, let's see if something happened on that. Yes, look at that. We had a spike in risk on the 23rd here, and we had a 4.7 southeast of Athens, right on the spike in risk here. 
on August 23rd. So that uh, turned out okay. Puerto Rico and the Caribbean forecast here, Puerto Rico and uh, Haiti, 4.7 earthquake is uh, possible uh, on the 23rd and the 24th. Let's check that out real quick. All right. So we had a, leave a 4.5 here late on the 22nd. Late on the 22nd might have been this uh, spike in risk uh, that uh, caused that late on the 22nd in Haiti. All right, in Santiago, Chile, we have three spikes on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And any of these could produce a 4.7 to 5.0 on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And uh, Croatia, pretty quiet, just a 3.2 is possible on August 27th. Indonesia, 4.0 is possible on August 26th into the 27th. And Lima, Peru, eventually have, we'll have the other cities as well. A, 4.5 is possible late on the 23rd into the 24th. Uh, 5.0 is possible on the 25th of August. And a 5.5 is possible on August 26th. And in Taiwan, pretty quiet in Taiwan right now. And Japan, Tokyo, Japan, 4.0 is likely in the, uh, the 24th into the 25th, most likely on the 25th here. 4.5 is likely near Sendai, Miyagi in the northeast on uh, late on the 24th into the 25th in Japan. Not a huge earthquake, but about 4.0 to 4.5 in the Tokyo Sendai area. Once again, uh, in San Francisco Bay, looking for a strong earthquake on August 25th, Wednesday, most likely at about 4 p.m. in the afternoon on August 25th right there in that spike in risk. This one should have released a, about a 5.7 on the 22nd, but the energy is still there and will be released on the 25th of August. Again, most likely at about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Thanks for uh, tuning in today, quickprediction.com, and thanks to the 165,000 followers on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And we will talk to you tomorrow, which is the 24th. And of course, that big earthquake in San Francisco coming up on August 25th. Stay tuned, and we'll keep you update, updated here at uh, the Earthquake Forecast Center. Thank you so much again. This is Luke Thomas. And God bless you, and have a great night. Thanks.